going on here? What oh, did happen here? Huh? That is Ezra is a snare. Gold. Did I not warn you people never to enter this room? Did I not? He came back. What did you do with my son? Now, where, where, where is the snake? Where, 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 where is the snake? Give, give, give me that knife. Give me that knife. Give me the knife. Where, where, where is the snake? Sister Mary, like I was telling you, in Matthew chapter 8, the Bible is requires to faith. You see? Oh. Brother Richard. Oh. First. Are you surprised to see me now? Uh, no, 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 not really. I, I just didn't know you were coming. I came on and on. Even the Bible 
made us understand that the day Jesus Christ will come, that he's going to come like a thief and take us all on our ways. So all we need to do is turn back from our evil deeds and focus on the teachings of the Bible because it is the only book of life. Of course. Thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. Yeah. Meg, you didn't offer him something to drink or eat? <laughs> no, 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 no. I did not come in search of anything. You see, I came to know why your wife, Sister Meg here, is becoming or has become a shadow of her old self. Excuse me? My wife here becoming a shadow of her old self. I don't understand what you're saying. My, my wife looks, she looks very happy to me. She is not happy. Yes. You see, as your legally married wife, it is your duty to make her happy. Well, like I said before, my wife here looks very happy to me and very beautiful. And if she says she's not happy, did she tell you what the problem is? But Richard, you and I know that since you lost your daughter to the good Lord, your wife here has not only prayed for her departed soul, but has also prayed that the good Lord blesses her again with the fruit of the womb. Well, Pastor, medically, there is nothing wrong with me or my wife. I believe everything is fine. But recently, she has become rather frustrated and impatient. I pray that the good Lord changes the situation. Well, Richard, Sister Meg, I know, is a good woman. If she has changed lately as well, tell me now, then you need to search yourself. Because there must be something wrong you are doing. When the flesh, body, and soul seeks a Lego partner and all to no avail, then vices, confusion sets in. But I, said, I, I pray you don't be a party to this. Right, I'll say a very big amen to that. Thank you. I'll be taking my leave now, Brother Richard. I pray that you take good care of her. She's a nice woman. Women like this are of the Lord. I pray that the peace of the Lord be with you. And may He continue to shower His abundant mercies on you. Amen. Bye. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much for coming. Why did you invite him here without letting him? Sweetheart, I did not invite him. I only complained to him about our problem. He decided to visit. Let this be the very last time. You hear me? Don't you ever, ever do this in my house again. My clan. I hope you liked it. Yes, I did. You're a very fantastic lover. Perfect replacement for my late wife. <laughs> Thank you. I feel so safe with you. Shoot. You know what? You see that your so-called husband, oh. if he threatens you again, I will deal with him. Look, Uduma is history. I do not have time for lousy losers. That's my wife. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Hello? What? When? Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, I'll be there soon. What is it? Um, you, you know my friend, uh, Chief Ikemba? Assassins uh, stormed his house and murdered everybody. Lord of Jesus! Uh, uh, hey, can you not say that blood thing in my house? You told me you were going to make me the biggest hip hop artist in the country. You told me your wife, your wife means nothing to you. 
You told me the marriage was just a camouflage and that I was the only one you truly loved. Can you just relax, put your voice down and stop acting like a child? I will not calm down. I mean, how could you secretly arrange to meet Mark here if you didn't want to tear his ass like you did to me? My arrangement with Mark was not a secret. If it was, I wouldn't have told you. Purely a business meeting. Then why, why, why at night? Why? Shut the fuck up. I don't owe you any explanation. I, I appreciate all you've done for me. I appreciate the jeep, I appreciate the money, I appreciate you trying to make me a better person in life. But you shouldn't have turned me into a bloody homosexual. And now you made me fall in love with you. See, I still love you very much. I care about you. Because my purpose for you has not been accomplished yet. Why then do you want to sleep with my friend? Well, because as you get older, more mature, you find yourself doing things that... things you just have to do. tonight of course I will love you but that will be if you make it over the night chief I assure you that the police will not rest until we unravel these heartless devilish murderers and those that send them to commit such barbaric Wicked and me aunt. I assure you that they will not go and punish. I assure you that. Now, this is this is this is confusing. Okay, what I still don't understand is why any man born of a woman and who has the fear of God in him commits such a cruel act. You know, I I, uh, I still can't believe this. It's it's totally unacceptable. <sighs> If I may... No! It's no longer Chief lost his son. And now, this. No! No! That headless woman I saw is not my sister. It cannot be! No! <sighs> um, Commissioner. We may all rely on you as a security officer. But I rely on the gods of our land. Because this mystery is beyond the human eyes. Please, I beg of you, don't add to my sorrow. Don't add to my sorrow. We're all here seated, talking about how the police is going to unravel the crime or and bring the corporates to book and to justice eventually. Are you here talking about the gods of our land? Where was the gods of our land when this happened to me? Where were they? I am the one who lost a wife. A woman I love so much. It is still me. I am the same person who lost my children. My children. If not for the fact that I have the fear of God in me, I would have just gone upstairs, picked up my gun, and hit the street and kill anybody I see on the road. Chief, 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 take it easy. 
Don't take the laws into your hands. The police are here. We are your friends. Just take it easy. I understand your situation. People are going to talk, but their talk has no effect on you. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. <laughs> hey, you mean with the wealth I perceived at the front gate, you still said you're considering his proposal? Babe, are you Elena? You know now, eh? You know how these things are. I just needed people like you to assure me that I was on the right track. You understand now? Babe, you're not only on the right track, but you have arrived. Hey! You have to grab all you can, as fast as you can. That's my girl. Do you even know why I called you? Amongst all my friends, it was only you that I called. Because I know that you have my back. You know, I've been thinking of something. I want to tell my sweetheart to put you in charge of our shopping complex. Huh? Yes, now. <laughs> as for me, oh. My hands are too full for all those small, small, small investments. My eyes are on the bigger ball. <laughs> <laughs> me, manager of shopping complex. Don't give me brandy, make a shock. I get brandy. Look at bring up. Don't mind that, my foolish husband. The fool thinks I have been feeding the family, clothing, and paying the children's school fees from that little shop of mine. <laughs> little does he know that I have. All the politicians in town. Hey! 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 Vengeance is a humba. Ikemba, you made a mistake that you shouldn't have. Azo, I did what I was supposed to do. I guess it was just meant to be. That's all. It was just meant to happen. Hmm, it's sad. Honestly, it's truly sad. But you should console yourself with the fact that if you had not done what you did, probably your fate would have been worse. It's unfortunate, my brothers. But as sad as it sounds, life must go on. Nah, you I not here, man. I didn't come this far to fail. No, now. Mba. Mba. Impossible. If the eyes see what they are not supposed to see, then they will go blind. We have sacrificed enough for anybody or anything to hinder our success. True talk, Azu. True talk. Take heart, Ikemba. Ahumba will reward you abundantly. On one I go. Udodi. Udodi. The eyes can only shed tears, not blood. Is you Oh, yes. We chose our fate. Therefore, cowardice has no place. No place at all in our lives. <laughs> Ochozo, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. Hmm? I'd rather have all the riches in this world than end up with a household of unfed mouths. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's wrong with you? Stop this joke, please. Little angel, how are you? Uh, sir, why did you just call me? I just called you my little angel because that's what you are. My smart little angel. Mm. <laughs> if only any of those words were true. Frida. I am a man of my words. Anyhow, that's by the way. I'm in a very bad mood right now. I wish you could come over. Well, I can do anything to make you happy. As long as you stop treating me like a child. See, this is why I like you. My little angel. Always ready to fight. Well, only when I have to. Well, my little angel, I did not hear you say yes to my little requests. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. You know what, my little angel? I will send someone over to pick you up. Okay. Very well then. See you soon. <clears throat> what is it? Nothing. But you look worried. Why don't you look for something to do instead of what to say? Chineke me. I am actually worried because I'm not a virgin. So I'm here because you're one of my husband's best friends. I would have equally gone to see Chief Ikemba, but I heard the sad incident that happened to him. Yeah. But the story you just told me now is equally sad. <laughs> I know your husband to be a very hard-working young man. But for you to now tell me that he maltreats you, that's shocking. Chief. If this thing has not gone out of hand, I won't be here. I'm telling you that my husband is now like a total stranger to me. Okay, I'll, I'll speak to him. Okay? But 
It's shocking. You're such a beautiful young lady. I can't imagine him. Anyway, I'll have a word with him. I'm, I'm sure everything will be all right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Please, I'm counting on you. I don't think my pastor's visit has any impression on him. That's also strange because I know your husband to be a God-fearing person. Hmm? It's all right. Hello. Hello. I hope I did not stay out too late. No, 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 no. Um, Meg here has been keeping me company. Oh, sorry, um, this is Meg, my friend's uh, wife. Meg, this is Nicole, the light of my life. Hi. How are you? Uh, okay, so I'll be upstairs. Okay then. She'll be careful. Nah, I will. Um, what drink do I have for you? Oh, like I said before, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Hey, hey I, she, she's okay. She's cool. Oh, no, no, not at all. I, I think I should be on my way. Okay. I'm really very sorry for what happened to your friend. Sad. Honestly, terrible. Tell me, was he possessed by an evil spirit or his family cursed? I, so honestly speaking, I, I don't know. I, I still find it hard and sad to believe. Oh, it's really sad. And he was a talented young man. I'm a businessman. I love to invest in talent. I wanted to invest so much in him. My friends uh, was always, you know, fond and brag about the things we were doing for him. Ah, uh, that's nothing. Believe me, I'm willing to do more for you, if only you will behave yourself. Sir, I will do whatever you ask me, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, I will, I will do it, sir. Are you very sure you do? 100% sure, sir. Ah. <laughs> Cut out the formalities. I like you a lot. Thank you very much, sir. Call me Richie. I... Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Richie. Thank you, Richie. Hey, it's okay. Tell me, do you find a man loving another man wrong? I, so I, I, I think uh, it all depends on the kind of love we, we are talking about here. Yeah. Love is love. Sex is sex. Gay, straight, whatever. The whole essence of sex is to find it enjoying, fulfilling and satisfying. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think uh, I, you see, I, oh. let me tell you this, I'm a very wild and adventurous person, I don't know about you, are you, are you also wild and adventurous? I, I, I am a bit shut, shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> Come, Efrega. This is Alon. What are you doing with it? I I want to use it and wash wash up something. Hey, <laughs> wash what? You won't go wash Congo meat. Everybody, please mind your business. Hey, hey. Is also into women. I 
I don't know. Honestly, come to think of it, what exactly do I know about him? You can't be serious. You mean you don't know the man you left your husband for? What are you talking about? Look, fine, I used to know him back in the days, but then he was a nobody. You know, I've not even had time to, <clears throat> like, try to know who he is. I've just been so overwhelmed and dazzled by all the wealth, the goodwill, the care, the... Oh, it's just... It's really overwhelming. That's the truth. In that case, you do not know him at all. Then, babes, it's high time you grab all you can. The money, the gifts, anything you can lay your hands on as fast as you can. Fine, I know that... I might not know him as much as I should know him. But I know that I know myself. And the problem is that I... I think I'm... I'm falling in love with him and you know me, I, I can be very jealous. So I, I, I don't know, like... Love is foolishness. Not at this age and time. I know, but I can't help it. Anyway, it's your game. So you can play it whichever way suits you. And however me, I'm only here to try and get a loan to buy a chocolate of containers. <laughs> Gozi, you will not change. <laughs> Anyway, don't worry. You know I'll do anything for you. I'll talk to you on your behalf. Angie, mm -hmm. babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chelsea, stop coming. Let me check for the okay. food. Then give you meat. You talk say it's too big. I think I'll help you chop small now. <laughs> do you know you're very charming and tantalizing? Tantal what? Tantalizing. And not just that, you are amazing. <laughs> and you, you are a wonderful person. Oh, thank you. Now tell me, Frida, how old are you? Well, I guess considering how nice you've been to me. One would expect that I answer all your questions without hesitation. Oh, I feel honored. Right? Oh, yeah. But the thing is, I always get very shy when I'm asked to tell my true age. Because some people have come to believe that I am too smart for my age. Oh, and I think I buy into that school of thought as well. Yeah? Because you are indeed very intelligent and mm. extremely smart. <laughs> but still, you. that does not answer my question. How old are you? Mm. Well, I am 18 years of age. <laughs> but I have got an ambition <laughs> as tall as a mountain. Hook, line and sinker. I'm actually 21 years of age. But then, <laughs> Lie sweet past truth. And what's your ambition? Uh, well, I am. Um, I wish to become a lawyer. But my parents are too poor. But it's okay. I'll achieve my dreams. Anyhow, by all means necessary. Mm, I like that. I like that. Well, let me quickly remind you of something. Yeah? The world is a mean and wicked world. Okay? It is a battlefield out there. That sometimes, or most times, you have to work extra hard to make it. I will. I lost my family one night. Sad as it may be, life must go on. Because a man must be a man. What do you mean you lost all your family in one night? You see, Frida, sometimes in a bid to conquer the world, 
end up not thinking about what to do with our conquest. Because man is selfish and greedy. Gone man came to my house one night. Killed my wife. My two daughters what? and my servants. Oh my god. My god. I am so sorry. And look at you, you're all so composed. Yes, I am. Because it's a path I've chosen. I can't go back on now. Go on, finish your food. I am so sorry. And the thing I. I let you take me out on a shopping spree. I'm very sorry. Frida, I had no stop. idea. Come on, you make me happy. So don't turn this happy mood into sadness. All right, don't. Go wipe your tears. Go on, wipe your tears. I'm fine. I've moved on. I'll finish your food. Just wife, right? Yes, I am. You must be Mark. Yeah. Anyway, I. Sorry, I. I I'm sorry, I kept you with you. It's okay. Uh, the truth is, I. What I'm about to tell you right now, whether you have informed your husband or not, I, I, I don't care. Come off it, Mark. You told me you have a certain information for me. I couldn't possibly tell anybody. Besides, I don't know what you have to say. Madam, what I want to say right now might put me into serious trouble. Possible death. Anyway, I am prepared. Please, don't tell me that my husband has done something wrong. Madam, far from it. See, I have a new wardrobe, a new car, and a house, which regrettable I never live in, and two million to take care of myself. All these things were given to me by your husband because you want to sleep with me. <coughs> wait, wait. Mark, right? Yeah. You see, my husband Richard is a very generous man. 
I'm not doubting it, Kat. He can even do more for you. But him trying to sleep with you? Like, seriously? Are you high? I mean, are, are, are you all right? Okay, but I, I don't even know why I'm risking my neck telling you all this. I'm, I'm sorry I, I, I raised my voice. You see, assuming you do not know already, I'm putting it straight to you that your husband is a homosexual. A homo what? He's gay. And that is not the, re the reason why I seek to speak with you. You see, my friend, who introduced me to your husband, whom your husband equally bought a car for, died mysteriously. Yes. I'm surprised that a man you have lived with for so many years, you don't even know him. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Expecting that. Well, Frida, tell me, what do you feel about me? I, I look upon you as my big uncle. I am proud of you, and I appreciate all the good things you've done for me. The clothes, <laughs> the money, and all the gifts. Oh, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. I equally respect you a lot. And I really like you. I see. Well, I like you as well. That's why I've always, uh, seen and looked up to you as good company especially one that makes me laugh when i'm tensed and very stressed hmm. okay and now what is your impression of me now it's my impression of you i just say i just uh, realized you're not just my little angel, but you're also very, very courageous, and that gives me a lot of strength. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy mm. that you're happy. I see. <laughs> mm. Whoa. What did you do that for? I'm sorry. You see, the mere thought of the fact that you're still a virgin excites me. Excuse me. Where are you going to? I'm going home. I don't like the word excitement. It makes me feel as if something else is about to happen. And the thing that I'm saving my virginity for whoever will be my husband. I'll be, I'll be leaving. Don't you, don't you beg me to stay? Okay, I'm going. I'm going. You don't want to stop me. I'm not joking. Or I'm, I'm going. Okay. 
you see? I'm not joking. Should I go? Should I go? I need you now. I'm opening. Meg, Meg, I am waiting. Meg, you called me. You said you wanted to talk to me urgently. Talk to me. What is it? For God's sakes, Meg, what is it? Look, I am your sister. You can talk to me, okay? Meg, talk to me. What is it, Meg? You're getting me scared. I... I discovered... Oh, God. I cannot say it. I cannot talk about it. I cannot say it. I cannot say it with my mom. Meg, is he about Richard? Oh, yeah, right. I understand. I'm sure when you come down, you will talk to me, okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay Meg. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, Sister Meg. You have to calm down. You see, Whatever be the problem, our good Lord will soon take absolute control. You see, in Matthew chapter 21 verse 22, the Bible says, Whatever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall get. You see, all you need to do is pray and believe. Because I know our good Lord will not turn his back on those who trust and believe in him. Pastor, I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to you about this, but Pastor, I can't. I it's can't. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You see, if perhaps what your husband did is so grievous that you don't want to talk about it, then take it to God in prayers. Yes, I know the good Lord I serve. And I know he will heed to your prayers. But Sister Meg, remember that it is always necessary to confess. Yes. Now give me your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your word saying in Psalm 37 verse 5. Commit thy ways into the hands of the Lord. Trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. Father, therefore, I commit your daughter into your elbow care. I pray and trust in you that very soon you shall bless her again for the fruit of the womb. For in Jesus' wonderful name I pray. Amen. And amen. So I hope you're not going to do the same thing your friend did. How do you mean? Well, you told me that um, uh, her husband beat her up and threw her out of the house. That's quite shameful. I, I hope you're not going to treat me like that. How would you even... How would you think of something like that? As though I love you. And there is no way I can even think of cheating on you. Look, I just expressed myself. I wasn't accusing you of anything. Look, fine. I mean, what what happened to my friend was very unfortunate. But I think her husband just overreacted. I mean, he was very harsh on her, considering the fact that that girl has been the one catering for the entire family all these years. 
See, the problem is I don't care what happens with her family. I just don't want her around you. I don't want her to influence my wife negatively. Jeez, no. There's no way I'm going to abandon my friend at this point. She is still my friend. You know, you don't get it. I thought all you would say is okay and you'd adhere to my instructions. I don't want her around you. And that's it. Don't you get it? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Now eat. I just lost my appetite. What's wrong? Where are you? You can't talk. Okay, okay, just uh, stay there. Stay there. Hmm. Okay. This is... Come to terms with what you just told me. That your husband is a homosexual and he's into occultism and, and rituals. That's crazy. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused and scared. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, you know what? Hmm? Let's not jump into conclusions. Let's. Try and get more proof. Besides, this might just be a ploy by some people who are trying to uh, break your marriage and then mess up his image. I don't need further proof. I just had to put one or two together and the jigsaw puzzle started falling in place. Talk to me. Otto. I don't know the other guy. Mark said died mysteriously. <laughs> but I can easily recall the incident that led to my sister's son's death. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, even at that, that's not enough proof. We need to gather enough proof before we conclude. <laughs> hey, come, 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 come. Okay, take care, take care. Hey, hey, hey. It's alright. It's all right. Shh, shh. I'm here now. I'm here now. Um, who's at home with you? He normally goes out with his bodyguards. The gate man is at his post. Mm -hmm. So you're all alone? Yeah. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. You know what you need now? You need to calm down. You need something to make you calm down. Do you drink? No. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I forgot you were born again, Christian. That's good. But the truth be told, right now, a little whiskey won't be a bad idea. Huh? Hmm? Trust me. Hmm? I'll be back. One minute. Please don't go. Stay with me, please. I don't need to drink. I just need somebody to love me. Please. Please. Wait. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. Yeah? Yes.
please, please don't kill me. I, I forgot that she's one of us. I'm sorry. I will wash you. So, so you're one of them. You're one of them. You're one of them. This is not all about sex to you. I mean, for all I know, this whole thing could be over the moment I give in. No! See that? Who is saying that? Who is saying that? No, that's not true. That is not true. See that? I love you. Okay? I've always loved you. 
so that I lost my entire family. I lost my entire family. You're the only family I have now. Please, let me do it. Please. Let me do it. Yes. What is it? Please. Sudi, look at this. This is one million dollars. One million US dollars. It's all yours. You and I will just leave this country, go anywhere in the world, America, anywhere in Europe or Asia, and have fun. Okay, just you and I. Have many more where this came from. What I just need is. Let me love you. Let me do it. Let me do it, please. Please. Will I become your wife? My wife? What are you talking about? I'll marry you. You will be my wife. Okay, you will. Okay. You certainly will be my wife. Right. Just that. I'm scared. A little bit scared. I hope I get out there. Anywhere in Europe or America or even Asia, you will abandon me and settle with a white man. But just promise me you won't do it. I will. You. Oh God. I hope he does not discover I am not a virgin. Why did you lie to me? What do you mean? I lied to you. I don't, I don't understand. Frida, why did you lie to me? What are you talking about? Hey! What's wrong? No! 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 Who are you talking to? No, please don't kill me. What? Don't kill me, please! Don't! I have given you everything you required of me, yes!
I am pregnant. Six months old pregnant. You should give me joy because that is what I have always asked for. But I'm sad. I am rich. Very, very rich. With half a billion naira stuck in the bank. Yet, I am sad. I don't know if I will give birth to a monster. My little daughter keeps appearing in my dreams. I am so confused and scared. I feel like committing suicide. But then, would that not make me worse a monster? than the man I called husband. What do I do? So you have so 